you doing? That's my car. Yeah? Yeah. The way I see it, pal, it was your car. Oh, that's charming, isn't it, eh? Five weeks behind with the payments. Look, we had this dispute, didn't we, you know, at the firm, industrial dispute. The man said, go and get the car, all right? Yeah, well, so I don't let you take it. You'd be very silly, wouldn't you? Needs a bit of choke, first thing. Oh, yeah. Oh. And you've got to sort of, you know, blip the accelerator. I see. Full of rust, anyhow. Yeah, it's not all that, is it? Oh, God, no, 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 don't do that. Not when it's cold. Why don't you let the other geezer worry about that? Where well, am I going to get to work, then? I don't know. How far is it? Oh, Come on in, jump in. I'll drop you at the tube. Mr. Mukherjee. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. <sighs> they tried to wreck my shop, Mr. Daly. Hooligans. Got my papers, Mr. M. <sighs> Whoops. Oh, you'll have to start a new line in Broken Biscuits. They have been threatening me all week. Who? Oh, yeah, they didn't have a go at my panatellas, did they? I don't exactly know who. Local lads? I don't know. Kids. They said they would be back. Did they? Well, you'll be needing help then, won't you? Oh, no, 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 no police. Oh, why's that? I don't think it is a matter for police. No, but I mean you'll need looking after, won't you? Protection? <sighs> Mr Mukherjee, that's a very naughty word. People could misconstrue that. No, what I'm saying is, if you have a face about the place, you don't get any aggravation, do you? Ah. But, Arribaba, this will cost me money. Well, naturally. I mean, I'll put my man in here. Oh, 300, you'll be well looked after. 300 pounds? Well, I'm not talking about your patties, am I? Three hundred pounds? You'll get the best, my boy Terry, ex-boxing champion. Bouncer at the Lyceum Ballroom. What more could you ask for? Have you gone mad or something? Nah, he's temperamental, like with Terry, you're dealing with an artist. <laughs> what is he then, a minder or Shirley Bassett? Hey, Terry! Yeah, see you, Norman. Uh, thanks, Arthur. You've done me a right favour. Yeah, fine. All right? Yeah, yeah. No. What's all that about? Just don't ever get me another job like that. He have a go at you. He's a vacuum cleaner assembly worker at Park Royal. What's he gonna do? Hitting me over the head with a suction hose attachment. Look, hang on, hang on. There you are. Double score. All right. How much he give you? Well, he didn't give me that lot, did he? I've always got a nice wad on me, haven't I? Yeah. What's the matter with you? Geezer buys a car, doesn't pay for it, he loses a car. That's reasonable, isn't it? They've been on strike. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Doing the economy in and all. It was official. Even better. Strike pay. Bit of social security. What's he got now? Mercedes? I don't know. Just don't get me any more jobs like that. Or down the Lonsdale. 
What's wrong with that place? A nice boozer. Oh, nice, yeah. Three fights last week. They were having a go at the group, weren't they? That's not nice, is it? Did you hear that group? Listen, there's a mate of mine who's just finishing a ten on the moor for doing less damage than their drummer. No, I'm not kidding, Arthur. I'm thinking of packing it all in. Terry. I understand your feelings, Terry. Do you? Yes, I do. And I absolutely agree with you. <laughs> not a nice job at all. But it was an earner. That's all that matters. I mean, I only have your interests at heart. Well, haven't I always got your jobs? Well, yeah. Seeing you're all right? Yeah. Nice little flat? Yeah. One more job. No. All right, Terry, all right. I will go over there and tell them that Mr McCann has let them down. I've let them down? Yes, you. Nice little Indian and his family. Oh, I've got to get a drink in. You buying? What, first round? Never. You do what you're good at. Everybody knows that. It's called aptitude. Now, you have an aptitude for knocking blokes out on the cobbles. To each his own, Terry. It's not a proper job, is it? What else could you do? I don't know. Computers. They do what? Computers. They're always advertising, aren't they? Terry, son, you can't even work a pocket calculator. Of course I can. You wouldn't know where to put the decimal point. Well, I could bloody well learn, couldn't I? I'm not stupid, am I? Thanks, Arthur. Thanks a lot. So that's it, then, is it? I had muscle. Stand at the doors of clubs and discos. My mum thinks I'm a chauffeur. <laughs> Excuse me, gentlemen, would you like a drink with the governor? Oh, that's very noble of him. I'll have a large vodka and slimline. Oh, and uh, lager for Terry. No, hold on, hold on. I'll have a large vodka and slimline too. Cheers. Thanks, Harry. Perks and all. See, Terry, I'm respected. We look after each other, we can't go wrong. Computer. <laughs> How do I know who they are? Hooligans, kids. They're giving an Indian news agent a hard time. They're not exactly lucky Luciano, are they? Sit about the place. Be very interesting. It's paying well. How well? 120 sobs in your hand. He's expecting you. I've got to slip over the Finsbury Park, see Charlie Francis. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He's gone in with some insurance assessor. He's trying to shift 50 frost-damaged Italian refrigerators. Frost-damaged? Yeah. I don't know. Must have had a bad winter out there. See you, Terry. Yeah. ta -da. Uh, Mr. Muckerjee about. What are you? Traveller? Traveller? Yeah, yeah. Christmas novelties. Well, could you tell him Terry's here? Friend of Arthur Daly's. Oh, you've come to look after us, haven't you? Come to protect us? Oh, I don't know yet. Who are you? His daughter, Indira. My name's Soppy Indian names. Well, it's better than Sabu. Yeah, do you think they'll come back again? I don't even know who they are. Well, one of them's a real... This is Terry, Mr. Daly's friend. Hello. You go to your room. Ta-ra, Terry. Here, yeah, ta-ra. What was she saying to you? No, nothing. We were just chatting. Oh. But you must not talk with her. She has already spoken for. She has promised to be married. Um, <laughs> I wasn't proposing. We just said hello. Oh, yes. I know what hello means with you fellows. So... You a champion boxer? Well, not exactly a champion. No, I had a good few fights, though. So. Not a champion? Look, as far as I understand it, it's just kids, isn't it? Kids. You don't really need a sunny listen for that, do you? Yes. <laughs> kids. How many of them? Hmm? Two or three. This would be all right behind the economist, won't it? Yes. All right, Terry. Uh, 
All right then, Mr. Mukherjee. What's the strength? I mean, look, if we're going to fight shoulder to shoulder, at least I ought to know what the war's about. No war. Well, what they want then? Money? How much? None of your business. Look, what I'm trying to get at is do you owe them money or are they demanding money? Uh huh. You owe them. How much? Look, I don't want to discuss this with you. If I fight them, what happens? I'm accused of starting a bloody race riot. I suppose it's never occurred to you to do something really dramatic like pay what you owe them. How? How much do you think I earn here? What is the profit margin on half an ounce of old Holborn? Anyway, they want more than money. Like what? My daughter. How do you mean? They want to bring somebody here illegally. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? And they want my promise that she will be this person's bride. And so what's the problem? You people do that, don't you? Arre, Baba, she's promised to my second cousin. Oh, my good God. You don't need me. You need the marriage guidance people. I do need you, believe me. Why? Because they just came back. Who is he? He? Amar Bondhu. He's a friend of mine. Who is this guy and what is he doing here? I don't know. Amar Bondhu? I want to talk to you about Ladgi. Let's go inside. Yes? Let's go. In our room. This way, please. After you. We go. Breathe through this way. Only. After you. मैं आपसे लड़की में बात करना चाहता हूँ जरा अंदर चलो एल्थ एंड स्ट्रेंथ डाउन द अदर एंड ओ यू द डिलीवरी बॉय या समटाइम्स व्हेन इज अ बिट शॉर्ट एंडेड ही वाज अ बिट शॉर्ट एंडेड लास्ट नाइट वन नाइट डिन नोटिस यू अराउंड देन Oh dear, oh dear, did you do all that damage? God, I bet Mr. Mukherjee was terrified. Mind you, a big boy like you. <laughs> Terrify anyone, wouldn't you? Hey, I know you from somewhere, don't I? I don't think so. Got it. The scrubs. The scrubs? No, not me, pal. Unless you mean a... Well... What? Well, I go jogging there now and again. Overrated, that jogging. Is it? Working out, I mean, in the gym. Different grade, isn't it? Don't know. Is it? Of course it is. Weight training, bodybuilding. What, all that pectoral development? Yeah. Terrific, that is. Nah. Overrated, though, isn't it? I mean, a lot of people think that all you weight trainers, you're a load of puffs. <laughs> Goss for a knife, please. Yeah, behind you. Uh, I'm sorry, pal. We've got no change. Oh, uh, don't matter. Uh, no, I'll tell you what. Take it. Pop in tomorrow and pay for it. Very nice. Really nice of you. Good day. Sorry, what were you saying? About bodybuilding. Yeah, those steroids, though. Don't do you a lot of good, do they? End up looking like a Russian discus thrower. <laughs> What's wrong with that? You ever seen any of those birds? You, I have no quarrel. Yeah, but he pays my wages, see. And I'm like one of those very old-fashioned English workmen, loyal to their governor. Serf Kaltak. See you, muscles.
Where are you going? Out. I forbid you to leave. Tough. You'd better get him to tell you the full strength of all this. You're going to be in real trouble. You be quiet. Teddy, you please stop her from going. <laughs> well, what's he going to do? Knock me out? Just, just don't stand there. Go after her. Please stop her. All right, all right. All right. Uh, hey. Dara. Sorry, mate. Here! 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 Just a minute, just a minute. No, no I'm not now, you. pal. I'm busy. Never mind, busy. I want to talk to you. Now, what do you want? Look, I I've just been down at the law centre, haven't I, eh? You had no right to do what you've done this morning. Who says? It's a Consumer Protection Act, isn't it, eh? I could have you nicked. No, not me. The bloke who owns the car. Look, I own the car. That is the whole point, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they got away from you, did they? Yeah, well, good luck to them, I say. I'm going right off you, pal. Yeah? What you gonna do about it, then? Nothing. So that makes it a very lucky day for one of us, doesn't it? Breaking and entering. There's something wrong with your lock. There was nearly something wrong with your nose. The catch is up. Listen, what are you doing with the key to my flat? Your flat? Who obtained this desirable bachelor residence for you? I pay key money, I'm entitled to have a key. Oh, certainly. Well, I'm getting that lock changed tomorrow. Cop hold of that for us. What is it? It's a fridge, old son. The latest in Italian manufactured mini fridges. I've got a fridge. I have a think of all the people who haven't. Think of the countless millions who cannot make a decent Bacardi and Coke for want of a few ice cubes. Oh, and you better put a woolly on. I've got another 19 of those outside in a van. Arthur, this ain't a bleeding warehouse. No, no, temporary storage. And you can put that out as well. Don't want any of that. I've just woken up. Ooh. Anyway, what's wrong with your gaff? Decorators are hardly out. Regency stripe in the hall. They look lovely, wouldn't they? Oh. I'd bring some fellas back from the lodge for a drink. Oh, yeah, we mustn't ruin the Regency stripe, must we? What, you, what, you, what are you doing? It's half past two in the morning. I'm going to bed. You can close the front door on the way out. Terry, the mini fridges. Arthur, oh, I don't even know anybody who wants one. Your mum? No. She's got a big jumbo size fridge from the co op who deliver in daylight hours. Caravan dwellers down at Sheppey. Hey? Telegraph readers with all of the homes in North Wales. Uh, Arthur, you manage that one. You bring the rest up. Terry, you're young, fit. I've also got an early start with Gunga Din. Five little minutes, Terry. Papers. Uh, listen, before you go on, tell him that I'm not a delivery boy. No way am I delivering papers, all right? Well, the no delivery boy did not turn up this morning. Tell him, Arthur. Well, I think I think Terry's got a fair point there, Mr Mukherjee. Too right, he has. Very well. No deliveries. It costs me money. I don't mind marking them up for you. You look well behind there, Terry. 
Straight up. You look you look right for the part. When you get older, I'll suit you down to the ground, the news agents, and you're learning something. As true as it happens, I'm learning something very interesting. Oh, well, yeah, I'll just have my usual. And a uh, packet of panatellas. <clears throat> How much is that? Da, da, da. Silly boy. Don't you have to pay, Mr. Mukherjee? Uh, uh, Mukherjee. Mr. Mukherjee and me are old friends, Terry. Good. Well, maybe you can get him to tell you a bit more about his other business. What? Well, your friend, Mr. Mukherjee, is not being exactly forthcoming with me. I have told you enough. All right, then. I'll just have to ask your daughter. She seems about ready to give me the full SP. Well? Indra did not return home last night. Maybe they have taken her from me. Well, you mean kidnapped her? No. They wouldn't do that, of course not. Why? Well... Well, I don't know, really. Maybe they would. No, 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 no. wait a minute, wait a minute. Look, you owe a fella some money, a private debt. That's one thing. But kidnapping, that's something else. I mean, they're not stupid, are they? They know the police would have to be told. Yes, but how can I go to police? I don't even know whether I'm allowed in this country. Surely. I think I am. I've been here 20 years. Well, it's all right, then. They just check up on your name and you're all right. Yes, but which name? Eh? One is so frightened of being deported. I have given so many names in the past. But if I go to the police, I will have to tell them everything, explain about my daughter. And, uh, you have met Indra. She is a Londoner. She is bloody Cockney. Well, that'd be all right, wouldn't it? My only consolation is that her dear mother did not live to share in my misfortune. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> Look, if they had kidnapped her, they would have been in touch by now, wouldn't they? Demanding ransom and all that. They haven't, have they? No. Much I can do. Uh, I'll uh, see you, Terry. Keep smiling, Mr. Mukherjee. Just dropped in to pay for the life. Uh, yeah. There's no change again, mate. Got today's? Yes, over there. They're coming tomorrow, then, eh? Yeah, OK, pal. Wait a minute. I'll give you change. No, I'm on my way now. Ta-da.
How many of them? I don't know. I only saw the one. You dive in and take him unawares. Stand there. What will you be doing? Uh, well, I'll be on the corner having a drink. They're not even open yet. Well, I'll be having a cup of tea on the corner. I mean, you want someone outside his lookout, don't you? Look, look, down there, over the wall, round the back, in the basement. All right? Thanks a bunch, Arthur. Well, nothing, really. Uh... Look, what are you doing here? Run away, haven't I? Who's he? My boyfriend, Kev. Hello? Hello. Your dad's worried about you. Oh, is he? Kev, make some instant. <sighs> this your drum, then? Yeah, yeah, I'm building a room divider. Oh, nice. Yeah. Cool, it's on the other end. Open plan is all to go, isn't it? Is it? Your old man thought you'd been kidnapped. Flaming wonder I haven't. Well, just because he promised you to someone. And took the bride money. And took some more bride money from his second cousin's family. Promised me to about six other families as well. That's how he got the money to buy his shop. Oh, that's charming, isn't it? Look, Mr. Aslam's only acting for everybody else who got taken. Plus, he got taken for the most. Look, why not make it easier for everybody and marry one of them? Because I don't want a bleeding rice picker from Bengal. I love Kev. I think Kev's wonderful. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, I can see the attraction. He dances just like John Travolta. Shame we don't look like him. He's beautiful. We was going to move in with me mum, but she wouldn't have it on account of her being coloured. Who, your mum? She don't mind living among them, but she draws a line at having one in the house. Terry. You won't tell him where I am, will you? Tyler. Thank you, sir. Tyler. She loves the geezer. Yeah, but what about the thumping I see through the window? He's building a room divider. You'll have to tell Mukherjee. Wrong. I do not have to tell Mukherjee. When he's the villain of the piece, isn't he? Straight. No questions. But Terry, these people, they do that sort of thing. They promise their daughters. I mean, it's not like being in a of E. But he's had them all over, half the bloody Indians in Southall. He's lined his daughter up for more marriages than Elizabeth Taylor. And she don't want it. She wants Kev. What's he like? QPR supporter. Well, come on, there must be a bit more to him than that. Not a lot. I wish to speak to the immigration department. Yes, the, the, the people who handle illegal entry. Immigration. Good morning. Uh, I wish to report an illegal entry into this country. Who's speaking, sir? Who's speaking? Well, <laughs> this is Mr. Chaudhary, a very well-respected citizen of this country for many years. Have been serving loyally the crown for many years as a member of the um, Bengal Lancers with a fine commanding officer who is still living in East Mosley. Now, I cannot abide these uh, illegal immigrants, immigrant people, you know, uh, coming here for social security and things like that. <laughs> Look, sir, you know? what exactly is the problem? Flight AI-129. Yes. Huh. Now, I happen to know that there is a person on this flight with illegal documents. You know? Now, have you got a pencil ready? Yes. What? Yes. The family name is Aslam. 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 A-S-L-A-M. Now, this fellow is a scoundrel. You know? Probably smuggling things as well. <laughs> yes, I've got that, sir. Aslam. <laughs> uh, yeah. Now, 
if you would just give me a few particulars about yourself. Oh, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> My second cousin. On the whole, I prefer Kev. Next, please. I think we have a little bit of confusion here, sir. Confusion? Yes, almost to the point of total incomprehensibility. Do you mind just waiting in there for a few moments? This is my nephew. Oh, nice. Chris Wilson. I wonder what the SP on him is. Very naughty boy. Do you know him? I know him all, Terry. Highest and the lowest. Charlie Knight's firm. Got away with attempted murder a couple of years ago. Well, he's not all that terrific then, is he? If it's only attempted murder. Yeah, but he might try again, and this time he might succeed. Oh, hello. Have a look. Oh. They have refused him entrance. We must go back on the next plane. What about Aslam's bridegroom of the week? The same. You'll be getting a visit from the immigration authorities, won't you? But how am I to know they've changed the law? <laughs> but I've given so many names in the past that they won't know who the hell they are looking for. When it comes to it, I can be as crafty as an old Bengal tiger. I only hope you can fight like one too. <clears throat> it is the law of the land, Aslam Shah. What can I do? Mukherjee, you owe me money. Me. You have till tomorrow night. I'm very sorry for you two gentlemen. Yeah, me and all. Oh, a failed murderer. I'm bloody terrified. Till tomorrow night. Let's go. What can they do to me? I mean, what can they do? The immigration people say no, so what can they do? They tried to wreck my shop once, they'll try to wreck again. But what else can they do? They could try killing you. Me? For a few thousand pounds? Not a chance. Besides, I have protection. You had protection. But you are my friend. Yes, as the man said, a friend in need. Exactly, Terence. But who needs a friend like that? Look, just take it easy, son. Your friend's out of his skull and you're being a nuisance. I'll oh, kill ya. I'll oh, kill ya. Yeah, of course you will. Okay, fine. Built very well. Behave yourself. I've still got a full drink in there. Yeah, but you didn't pay for it. That's why you got slung out. All right in there, my man, didn't you? I could do you any day, mate. Just see that your friend gets home, okay? Piss off. Go home. Now. I'll tell you one thing, don't you never come down Putney High Street, you're a dead man. Putney High Street? I remember that. Ah, uh, bottled, bottled out of it, didn't ya? People don't feel at all well. Oh, well you can set off then. Hadn't been for you, we could have been having a nice time in there. Say, I know this girl and her sister's got a caravan down by Canby Island. Oh, great. It's all oil refineries down here. I don't care. Well, I do. You will hope. You will hope somewhere nice. You know? Torquay. 
Well, somewhere. And that Terry, he's bound to find you sooner or later, isn't he? Why? He hasn't told me Dad yet, otherwise he'd been down. Well, the others, then. They're all going to be after us. I'm only going to marry you, Kev. I love you. Deeper than a thousand oceans. Oh, oh. Shut up. I can all hear. I don't care. No, I don't care neither. See, what worries Dad is him being made an outcast in his own community. Yeah. Mind you, he ain't exactly flavour of the month at the moment, is he? I mean, it ain't religion with him, it's money. See, if I could persuade him that, you know, I've got a few prospects in there. Have you? Of course I have. Mind you, I've got to get me drill back off that scotch geezer what I lent it to. <laughs> hey. Here, here. I know the old world loves a lover. But you two came in for breakfast. We should be serving afternoon teas in a minute. Oh, I hate old people. Don't you dare leave my tip. <laughs> I'm just glad he doesn't want to pay my cheque, sweetheart. Tea tastes like my iodine. OK, do we have to? Yeah, look, leave all the talking to me, OK? That's what your own man. I know he's going to talk you out of it. Get in! Get out on the bloody door, then. Popsy motor. Only because you're driving, Bumpy. Of course it's Bumpy. It's stuck in second gear, isn't it? Uh, please, I'm very sorry. Believe me. I beg your forgiveness. Uh, yes, and I beg you not to harm me anymore. <laughs> yes? Yes. Yes, that is a possible solution. Yes. But of course she will agree. What do you think? I am not master in my own household. <laughs> no fears. So just give me a little while. Hmm. <laughs> I'll call you in, in a little while. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye. So... Your old father may sleep peacefully again. You don't have to marry somebody from Bengal. He would be just as happy if you married his nephew from Wolverhampton. No bleeding chance. Indira. Listen, I'm the one she's marrying. Can't you get that, Mr. Mukherjee? Please, Kevin. Can you pay the bride money? Can you match what Mr. Aslam has already paid and which I must return if she does not marry his relative? I can look after her, yeah. But you cannot pay. All you do is stand in the way. Do you know how rich is Mr. Aslam? Hmm? He has got business interests everywhere. He has got the finest restaurant in London. And what have you got? Dad, he loves me and I love him. Yeah. And I've got a trade, and I? Trade? But what job you have got? What? What job you have? What do you mean at this precise moment? Huh? Well, right now I'm between things. But I've got to start next week, block of flats, cancel rise. And anyway, Kev's thinking of starting up on his own. Oh? Doing what exactly? Conversions. Like, buildings. <laughs> I didn't think religious. Look, you don't seem to understand. I'm a very skilled man. I'll be getting about 200 nicker a week, clear in me pocket. 200? Yeah. And with this mate of mine, who's about the best wallpaper hanger you can get around here, who knows? couple of months, we could be very big. Oh, Dad. Huh? I do love him. Don't I get a say? I mean, you and Mr. Aslam and all that. Just tradition, innit? I was brought up here. Got to get married. I want to choose for myself. Oh, my little Indra. My sweet, darling girl. Of course I want your happiness. 
but they will certainly kill me. They won't kill you. Kev! One of them's a real gangster! Okay. But I love you, so I've got to be prepared to fight for you, ain't I? Bad morning's work. You've done well there, Terry boy. Thanks. Thanks. I reckon this is the best part of Sunday. Nice drop of laughters. Heard indoors doing a nice roast. Nice and quiet. Friends of yours? Well, yeah. Well, I'm sorry, Terry. You ain't a bleeding club. No, Kev... Terry, Kev's gone after them on his own. Yeah, all right, love. You come. It's all right. Arthur! Now, tell me slowly. You say he went after them. I mean, he's got no chance, has he? No, not much. Mr. Daly, please save this boy. I promise you'll get your 300. 120 subs, eh? I got overheads, Terry. You know that. How do you know he's gone to the restaurant? Oh, it was the only place I mentioned. Take him, ours. His mother only goes in second gear. Wonderful. And he's talking of setting up business on his own. See, what worries me is he's got all his tools. His what? He's got a gun? No, I mean his tools for work. Hammers, chisels, you know, all that stuff. One's really sort of into ethnic food. It's always good to go to a place patronised by the natives, so to speak. Mr. Baslan? Yes? I'm a friend of Mr. Mukherjee's. Go oh, where? Yeah. And I'm his daughter's boyfriend. And I've come to... Come to what, Sonny? I've come to tell you we're getting married. And I want you to stop harassing my future father-in-law. You are disturbing my customers. Sodom! It's down to me and him. OK. All right, son. Go on. Go on, on your bike. I'm not frightened. What are you shaking for, then? I'm not bloody frightened. All right, you're not frightened. But you stick to your room dividing, eh? This is more my game. Go on. I'm afraid you just lost out, Mr Aslam. You see, this is jolly old England. And that girl's going to marry who she wants. Now, the only problem is that Mr Mukherjee is skinny. But he's going to be a good boy. He's going to give you 15 quid a week. It is not enough. That's the state of his economy. If you want any more, well, you're going to have to take it out of this, aren't you? Tooled up. What for? <laughs> <laughs> Good a week, Aslam. Oh, good, 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 Jerry. I've had enough. So, my pal. You had enough, Aslam?
Mr. Daly, please, I have to explain. Obviously, I haven't got all the money. Obviously. Only 100 short. Yeah, but it's my whack, isn't it? Well, it is, guy. It's a risk, isn't it? I don't see why I should bear the burden of money's owed. Arthur, look. Yeah, but that'll get better, won't it? Stick this in your bin for now. Right. Yeah, I'm going to drop this back at the garage. I'll, uh, I'll see you at the boozer, right? OK, yeah. Terry? Terry, will you be our best man? Oh, was that, am I? You thought we're taking a test? Are you, what? Oh. Oh, it's you, is it? Hey? <laughs> well, I was right. I got the motor back. Yeah, well done. Someone give you a whacking, did they? Yeah. Well, I can't say as I blame them. It's a risk you've got to take in your gang. I suppose so. 